Toyota's bank is fined $60 million for things they did all through the pandemic, which include not letting people cancel products that you can cancel. Extended warranties, key replacement, tire and wheel, you know, the stuff that inflates the price. But throughout the pandemic, 80% of dealers were packing this stuff by the thousands and people would wake up and call and say, hey, I see I can cancel this. They call and the bank wouldn't let them cancel it because they built it into the loan. And so now we have a problem because people are like, hey, I don't need these products. It says I can cancel. You're not letting me cancel, which is why they're paying $60 million right now. So if you're with Toyota, you should expect something in the mail or call a bank and find out how you can get a piece of this pie that's being divvy. But this is not the last. This is only the first bank that we will see that did stuff all through the pandemic that is going to pay. Example, they should not have been approving some of the loans they did in these cars that were overpriced. We knew that these cars that were selling for 40 were going to be worth 25 when the market corrected. They knew that. Yeah, Yet they approved loans for 40 something thousand on cars that are now today worth 25 just 18 months later and the people are stuck holding the bag because they did nothing wrong other than buy an overpriced car and the bank was the dealer's ally and putting the deal together another thing with third-party restrictions we can't wait to see the, the banks that are corrected for just modifying people's lease contract it's all coming make sure you're following to stay abreast and if you need help shopping carsfromhometoolkit.com or link in my bio